Hi and hello dear friends. Welcome back once again to our channel Vage Academy of Mathematics. This session we have an interesting question from the concept of permutations and combination. Let's directly get into the question. How many five digit numbers can be formed which are multiples of four? Okay, fine. Yes. So we need to form five digit numbers which are multiples of four using the digits 0, 1, 2, 3, 4 and 5. So totally we have got six digits, is it or not? So we have got the digits 0, 1, 2, 3, 4 and 5. Uh, there are totally six digits are there and condition is if the repetition of digits is not allowed. We are not supposed to repeat the digits. So such an interesting question here we have. So the way of solving it is going to be also interesting. So let's directly get into the approach how we can solve this problem. So first of all, we have got a set of six digits, is it or not? So totally we have got six digits here. So let's take a note of those digits. So we have the digits 0, 1, 2, 3, 4 and then 5. So it we have totally six digits available with us. And now what we need to do here is we need to form five digit numbers. Okay, so we need to form five digit numbers and that too we need to form multiples of four. They should be multiples of four. Okay, fine. Yes. So in that case, one, two, three, four, five. This is going to be our five digit number. We are going to fill the slots with those five digits. And important condition is we need to form multiples of four. How many multiples of four we can form? This is going to be the question, right? And one thing we have to remember, if we need to form multiples of 4, if a number is a multiple of 4, then definitely that number should be divisible by 4, is it or not? So at this point, we should be very clear about the divisibility test of 4. So what about the divis divisibility test of 4? For 4, if a number is to be divisible by 4, the last two digits must be divisible by 4, is it or not? Yes. So last two digits must be divisible by 4. So let's quickly take a note of it, okay? For divisibility by 4 we need to confirm that last two digits should be divisible by 4 and it should be noted that it doesn't matter about the other digits but surely the last two digits must be divisible by 4 why because it's a very simple thing from numbers concept right because every hundreds will be divisible by 4 and for that reason we don't have to check up to the hundreds part of our number it is enough for us to test only the last two digits so that is why we are looking or observing the last two digits that must be divisible by 4. Okay, fine, yes. Now, with our given collection of digits, let us try to see different possibilities of what can be the last two digits. Yes or no? Fine, yes. For this, we need to kindly recall the four tables. Okay, fine, yes. So start from 4 ones are 4, 4 twos are 8, 4 threes are 12 and so on. And let's try to fill the last two places. Now, we'll start from 4 ones are itself. In fact, if you start from four zeros are, you will be having zero. But I cannot fill both these places with zero and also zero, okay? Because we have got only one zero. And also see here, we are not allowed to repeat the digits. That is a condition given there in the question, fine, yes? So four ones are will be four, is it or not? So in that case, I can fill very well the last two places with zero, four. I hope you understand this. We can do this, right? So I fill zero here, four here. Of course, both the digits are available here. Yes, okay. Next, what next we can have? What are the other thing? Four twos are will be eight. Of course, eight is not here. So I cannot fill eight here. Four threes are will be 12, right? So I can very well fill 12. That means one and two. Like last two places will be one and two. See, we can fill with those digits. It should be a multiple of four. And at the same time, basically, it should be available in our list. Right, okay. So both the things we need to think very carefully. Okay, next is four. Four is our 16. Six is absent. 4, 5s are 20. 20 means 2, 0. Yes, of course, we have got 2, 0 in our number. Okay, next, what next we have? 4, 6 are 24. Again, 24. We have the digits 2 and 4. 24 is also possible. Next, 4, 7s are 28. 8 is not possible. 4, 8s are. 4, 8s are will be 32. 32, it is again possible. So, we can go for 32. This is possible. Then, 4, 9s are 36. 6 is not possible. 4, 10s are 40. Right, yes. So 40 means I can have 4 and 0. Yes, that is again possible. Next, 4 11s are 44. No, I can't uh, repeat the digits. 4 12s are 48. Again, not possible. 8 is not possible. And 4 uh, 13s are, what about 4 13s are 52? 4 13s are 52. Yes, 52 is possible, right? So take a list 52. What next hereafter? So hereafter you will be having 
four uh, uh, 13s are 52 and after that we have four 14s are 56 that will be having a six and four uh, uh, what next you'll be having so you'll be having like a four uh, uh, next I will be having four 15s are right that will be 60 so again six is not available here then you will be having 64 then you will go for 68 72 and so on so hereafter if you come to see all the other numbers we will not be able to construct because we will be having digits where at least one of them will be missing is it or not so that means for my last two places with our given collection these are the possibilities we have okay fine yes so we are now clear with all possible last two digits now our only task is to fill the other three digits okay respectively we need to find the number of ways in which we can fill the first three digits in each of these cases that's what we are going to do now okay yes so I don't think here after it will be a good ch big challenge for you. So let's quickly do it. Now we see here, now see here, here is where we have to carefully observe few things and then do it. Okay, fine, yes. Now start from the first case. I have filled the first, I mean the last two places with the digits 0 and then 4. That means now we are left with the other four digits only. I mean in the question with the given collection, we are left with the other four digits. What are the other four digits left over now? So the other four digits are going to be except 0 and 4, the other four digits are 1, 2, 3 and then 5. Is it or not? So using these digits is what? We can fill these remaining 3 slots. Is it or not? So in that case, we will carefully think of what can be the possibilities. Okay. Come start with the first slot. This first slot can be filled in how many ways? How many ways we have? See, this can be filled with any one of these 4 digits. Is it or not? So that means there are 4 ways to fill this first slot. Next, multiply it by. Come to the second slot. This can be filled with? Any of the other three digits, right? Because one of the digits will be occupied here. So other three digits. So three ways to fill this one. Then again multiplied by here. What about here? So you'll be left with two more digits. Any two of any one of those two can come here. So two ways to fill this slot. And of course, these two slots are already filled. Okay, fine. Yes, that means this is like one way and one way. So we don't have to do this calculation. But okay, they are fixed with the digits. That's why. Okay. That means we have got totally how many ways 4 into 3 into 2 ways in which we can form 5 digit numbers that end with 0 4 this is the meaning okay fine yes let's try to quickly do it for all the other cases and now next is let's be careful in the second case now second case if you see we have filled the last two places with 1 and 2 is it or not that means what are the other leftover digits we have got except 1 and 2 what are the other digits we have we have 0 3 4 and 5 here is where we need to be bit careful right now see here, we have got 4 digits and 3 slots. We are going to fill these 3 slots. Now, come think about the first slot. In how many ways can we fill this first slot? Here, it cannot be 4 ways, right? Why? Because, of course, we have got 4 digits. But, except the 0, I can fill any of these 3 digits here. Is it or not? Any one of these 3 digits can only come here. Because, we are forming a 5 digit number in that case. We are not allowed to place 0 in the first digit, I mean the first slot, which means here to fill this first slot, we have got only 1, 2, 3, only 3 ways we have got because a non-zero digit can only take this place, right? So 3 ways here, now multiplied by, what about the next second slot here? Now when you come to the second slot, hereafter there is no condition for you. So anyways, one of these non-zero digits would have taken this place. Now you are left with 2 non-zero digits and one zero that means again you have got three ways to fill this so three ways multiplied by now what about this one here when you come here you will be left with two more digits so two ways see here only here the first place you will be having that possibility where zero will not come okay fine yes actually the thing is here in the first situation we did not discuss about it why because zero has already taken a slot that's the reason so here we did not have any such confusion but when we come to the second condition in the second case, here we filled the last two places with non-zero digits. So, zero will be remaining available here. That's the reason when we consider this one, we try like this. Okay, fine, yes. So, I think now you got the idea. When you have zero already placed, you will be having four into three into two ways. And when zero is not placed, you will be having three into three into two ways. That's it. Very simple. Okay. Because the same logic is what you're going to apply hereafter. That's why. So, I don't want to again repeat it every time. So, we'll quickly do it. Okay, fine. Yes. Now, come here. This third case, you have 2 and 0, which means all the other 4 will be non-zero. That means we'll be having 4 into 3 into 2 ways for this case. Next, here you have 2 and 4. That means 0 will be there remaining. So, we here we'll be having 3 into 3 into 2 ways. Next, here 
you will be having same like the previous is it or not so here also you will have 3 into 3 into 2 ways next when you come here here 0 is already occupied the last two one of the last two places that means here you will have 4 into 3 into 2 ways and finally we have 5 2 that means 0 will be there available which means here we will have 3 into 3 into 2 ways possible now we calculate each of these things get the answers and then we get the total that will give the overall answer for this question let's quickly do this okay fine yes so i don't think it will be a great challenge so here anyways 4 into 3 into 2 will be how much it will be 24 right that means here i will have 24 and here also this is again 24 and here also i have 24 and what next you have here we have 3 into 3 into 2 so, so 3 into 3 into 2 will give you 18 that means here also you have 18 here also this is 18 and here also this is 18 which means you have got uh, 3 24s and 4 18s is it or not anyways 3 24s will give you 72 4 18s will again give you 72 making the total 144 which means option c is the right answer to this question yes fine yes so i think uh, the way we solve this problem the approach is very clear to you if any doubts you have please post in the comment box and when i see it i'll see to rectify your doubts even if you have any other questions to be done please uh, just send me the question in the comment box or you can send it in the mail and uh, uh, let's catch up with some other interesting question in the following uh, sessions see you soon there thank you so much